Welcome to Joe's Astrology, and this is Kamala Harris. This is her progress chart. And I'm going to use her chart to kind of go through what a progress chart is. Uh, I think the progress chart is very important uh, in analyzing a birth chart and where someone's at and where they're headed. And the first thing I want to look at here, the main part of the progress chart is the ascendant. And we can see Ka Kamala Harris is a she's a Gemini rising. Gemini she has a Gemini ascendant in her natal chart, but now as of today, the rising has progressed to 14 degrees Leo. So it's been in Leo for about the last 10 years or so. And we can see when it progressed into the second decan, around 11, 10, 11 degrees Leo, she became the vice president. And now we're here in the, still in the second decan of Leo. And she's the presidential nominee. We can look at some other things. We can see that Jupiter is here in the 10th house at 16 degrees retrograde. And it was, in her natal chart, it was in the 12th house. And we can see that Jupiter in the 10th house, the house of career. So she had Jupiter in the 12th in her birth chart. Now it's in the house of career which has been there for a while, it's making a trine to Pluto in the second house, along with Mars. Now, Jupiter doesn't progress very far uh, in, the, in the progress chart, but Mars does. And Mars has been there, uh, has just recently crossed over Pluto, in the progress chart approximately when she became vice president and now it is at 19 degrees still in effect with a Pluto Mars Jupiter uh, connection there with a trine between the second house the house of money the house of values the house of the self as a resource it's making a trine with the uh, that Jupiter in the house of career and I would say this is a uh, a very powerful aspect here to consider with her uh, being so high up in politics. And some other some other changes that were just that just occurred. The Venus is that just went to zero degrees this this past year. Uh, in Sagittarius and as we get closer to the election it will be firmly in Sagittarius at one degrees uh, Sagittarius so we have Venus a fortunate planet going into a fortunate sign being ruled by Jupiter Jupiter can also be associated with uh, being a politician being a leader a teacher certainly in the political world Jupiter is represented uh, there as well And it's also making a square, an exact square. When it moved into zero degrees, it moved into an exact square to Saturn there in Pisces. And Saturn really doesn't move much. So this is a, uh, this is a import, important ingress with Venus coming into an exact contact with Saturn, the planet of career and work. We can see Chiron. Chiron is in the exact degree of Leo, of that Leo ascendant as well. Now the Chiron really has been there her, in her birth chart as well for the entire life. But if we look at the ascendant that has changed, it is there in that degree of the ascendant now. And I'm now noticing that this moon, when, she, uh, when the election comes around, this moon will progress to about about that 14 degree mark in the 12th house, the house where we often see 
uh, politicians having prominent planets, the house that would involve the public. And there's going to be, uh, right around the, the time of the election, we can see aspects here. We can see uh, aspects with this, this rising sign, 14 degrees, with the moon at four, 14 degrees. We can see Chiron at 14 degrees, Jupiter at 16 degrees, Pluto at 16 degrees, Uranus at 14 degrees. We can throw Mars in there with a close conjunction. It's going to be around 20 degrees. Neptune as well. And then, of course, with Venus and Saturn making a uh, making that square. And the Sun making a sextile to Saturn. So a lot of aspects. A lot of aspects in this chart. Uh, really showing that something something is afoot here. I mean, clearly just being in that on that stage. This can um, be delineating that for sure. But I want to leave one more thing about the, I mean, there's much more that can be said about the progress chart. But I want to look at one more thing about this rising here. This is what Alan Leo, famous astrologer, I believe in the early 1900s, this is what Alan Leo has to say about the progressed, here it is, Leo, the progressed Leo in the Deccan of Sagittarius. This is a fortunate and a more progressive portion of the sign, because it involves there the sun and Jupiter, and it gives many opportunities to expand the Leo character, characteristics. It will bring a far more philosophical and religious frame of mind, and cause the native to have more respect for law and order bringing out the internal harmony of Leo through a philosophical attitude of mind. He will probably take a long journey or travel and will also come into touch with some phase of higher thought and take some interest in those things that relate to the subjective world. To those who are un undeveloped, this progressed ascendant will bring a gambling spirit and a desire to follow speculative or risky ventures. To those able to take advantage of it in the proper manner, it means a fortunate it means a fortune by speculation, but the whole of the directions must be fortunate to bring about this result. To the fully progressive, this decanate will awaken the power of prophecy, or to give vent to very prophetic utterances. While under this influence, the native will have some remarkably vivid dreams and should note them, and for they will have some special meaning. It will be a period when the higher mind will act and the intuitions will Intuition, intuitions be keener than usual. So, even from a philosophical standpoint, we can see this could be, you know, a very important, very important period in Kamala Harris's individual evolution from a philosophical standpoint. What she's going to learn uh, if she becomes the president of the United States, the first female president of the United States. So, I'll leave it there for now. Hope you enjoy this. Uh, and I'll do, uh, hopefully I'll do some more on the progressed, the progressed charts, specifically the progressed ascendants.